going to bring in Jerome Carvin, who has been uh, in camp with the Kansas City Chiefs, just wrapped up his last preseason game yesterday, spent most of today in the training room. Jerome, Jerome, thanks for joining us. Uh, what's it been like to go through, uh, you know, an NFL camp with the Chiefs? Yeah, man, it's been great, uh, you know, going from, you know, college to now uh, into the NFL and uh, into, uh, you know, a uh, Super Bowl winning program uh, like the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, you know, their camp is tough, you know, and uh, Andy Reid expects a lot out of us. Uh, you know, he has hard camps uh, for a reason, you know, to get those guys ready uh, to go out there and win every Sunday. So uh, uh, camp's been going really well. been a lot of competition, uh, as you know. Uh, you know, it's the business side of the, of the sport. And, uh, you know, it's been really fun, though. It's been really fun just being out there playing football again and, uh, you know, going with those guys and battling with those guys uh, each and every day. Two two interesting uh, storylines for me, for you personally, was one, you obviously get to hook back up with Trey Smith. And then two, you get to hook back up with Cam Jones, who signed a, a free agent deal with the Kansas City Chiefs. And that's somebody that you grew up around out there in Memphis. Um, mm -hmm. You went to Indiana and you went to Tennessee. But how uh, – how, how unique has that been to know a couple of guys in the room when you walk in the door? Uh, yeah, it's been surreal, you know, uh, obviously reconnecting with Trey, uh, you know, we're in the same, you know, position room together uh, as we go, as we were in college and to now in the NFL, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy to think about that, you know, and uh, obviously, you know, we got a guy like uh, one, yeah, he transferred out of Tennessee, but just like, it kind of feels like college again, you know, kind of in that room and uh, just see a familiar phrase, you know, that, uh, you know, a guy that got your back, you know, a guy that, uh, you know, that'll help you out and a guy that you can look up to and, um, just see how he operates and see how how everything what he does and uh, just gives a good view report on what you should be and what you, um, the type of professional you need to be, uh, as well as you know Cam Jones, uh, you know a guy I grew up with, uh, you know from Memphis and uh, you know it's great seeing him. I haven't seen him in a long time. Obviously, you know we picked different colleges, but uh, man, it's been great seeing him. Man, been you know rekindling. You know we've been playing together since little league. You know so uh, it's been really good. Jerome, when you're in the NFL, obviously you got to learn how to play multiple positions, and you snap the football a little bit here at Tennessee. So, how's it been playing a little guard, both sides, playing some center, and then obviously the level of competition is much greater. But how have you kind of adapted to that over over the preseason camp? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, versatility is uh, huge in the next level, and uh, you know you got to play multiple positions, and uh, everyone does it. You know, everyone plays multiple positions, and uh, you know. And for me, you know, uh, you know, I was, I was a guard coming in and, you know, now I've been playing like a majority of center. And so uh, here at this camp and uh, that's been good. It's been good for me to, you know, get that get that uh, film out, put good tape out there at center. And um, obviously teams know I can play guard, too. And uh, just going against those guys and practice going against, you know, the big names uh, that we have at Kansas City Chiefs every day. And uh, to then going out in a preseason game and go against, you know, their guys. So uh, it's been really good. Uh, Really valuable uh, lessons and live, uh, valuable reps uh, playing multiple spots. Uh, that's been really well. Jerome, you believed you could play in the league when you when you left Tennessee and headed to camp at Kansas City. How much more confident do you feel about your ability um, to to perform and, and to to match up with you know the best football players in the world after you've gone through camp and a couple preseason games there? Yeah, confidence is very high. You know, uh, you know, obviously going out there uh, your first day. You know, you kind of got a lot of things run through your mind, but uh, at the end of the day, it's football. Football is it's still the same at the end of the day, whether it's college, you know, now the NFL, just now it's at a, a greater detail, you know, a greater speed and uh, greater physicality um, in that sense. And so, uh, you know, just you get there, you know, you look at the guys, you look at the guys that have been there and have done it. And, um, you know, you kind of take, um, you know, advice from them and, and watch them there and try to soak up everything that they give to you, man, and just be a sponge and, uh, that's where I've mostly been in uh, after, you know, getting live reps with, the, uh, with you know, NFL defense linemen. Uh, it's, you know, it's basically the same, you know. And uh, just like I said, it's been just at a at a faster speed and more physical. And, uh, you know, after you get settled down and you, you know, get adjusted to it, and it's football. I, I got to ask, Jerome, that there's a lot of talk about the scheme at Tennessee. How, do you, how did it translate for you um, into – uh, into the NFL world. I mean, you know, was there a big, huge adjustment in terms of schematics or was, you know, it, hey, this is, like you say, it's football, it's just bigger guys and you got to be more physical? 
Yeah, I would. Uh, I want to say it's a huge transition, honestly. Um, you know, obviously the fast pace uh, is honestly kind of good because you know you go from uh, no no huddle, you know, lining up and you know, say looking at the hashes, trying to read the uh, <laughs> referees and things like that. To where now, now it's like you know you're huddling up, you know, you you know you get a chance to breathe, you get a chance to go out there see the see the defense, see what they're lined up in. Uh, you know, it gives you more time to you know make your calls and you know go out there and play. Um, I would say, other than that, just the the verbiage is probably something that it could be an adjustment for a young guy that's coming from a Tennessee type offense to the NFL, um, and obviously just the uh, the amount of plays that that the NFL uh, playbook has compared to college. That's that's basically it. But other than that, I mean, it's basically the same, honestly. Jerome, how much have you had a chance to talk to uh, the, the guys at Tennessee during, during, you know, I don't know if you've had much time because you're going through your own camp, but have you had a chance to check in with some of your old teammates that are, you know, on that offensive line, guys that are trying to replace you or replace Darnell and mm -hmm. kind of see how they're doing? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely check in on those guys. Uh, probably haven't – I haven't checked on them as much as I, as I want to. Uh, obviously, I've been busy, but um, definitely definitely now since I got – we got a little time off uh, – Definitely be reaching out to those guys like like the Coop, like Sprags, you know, like Dane Davis and those guys, and uh, just check and see how they are, how, how they meant to feel. You know, it's game week now, so uh, seeing how they're how they're feeling going into uh, heading to week one, and um, you know, obviously hoping the best for them, hoping uh, they have a great season. I know they will, and uh, you know, it's just really excited to watch them. You know, really excited to watch them uh, play, really see how physical and uh, how dominant that group can be. Jerome, what's the challenge for for Ollie Lane if if Coop can't go in in this first game and he's been working at center? You were the backup center. You had to be ready on, at a moment's notice. He's never snapped in a game before. How challenging is that for him? What advice would you have uh, for him if, if he ends up being the starter in this first game? Yeah, uh, I would say just for Ollie, uh, he just needs to calm down. Don't let the emotions get too big. You know. Uh, you know he's been play, he's been around the program for a long time, so you know he he understands uh you know how games go and uh, how the operation works. So uh, I think going into year three with under Hypo, he I mean he understands the offense fully, so he's very confident in um uh, you know if they if the, um, especially at center being a mental part, you know setting the IDs and things like that and uh, setting the tone, setting the tempo of the offense. Uh, I think he'll do very well. Uh, other than that, man, just you know you go out there, things things might go wrong. You know never. You know what I'm saying? It's next play type mentality, you know, and uh, like Coach, uh, Coach L.B. Harp, harps on a lot is, uh, you know, uh, don't be too high on the highs and don't be too low on the lows. So, uh, you know, keep steady, uh, you know, mentality and composure and confidence and he'll be fine. Jerome, I know you're a professional, right? You've been a professional when you were at Tennessee and all that. And you've gone through rookie mini camps and mini camps and now you're in training camp, preseason games. But I mean, did it ever? Was there ever a moment, maybe in practice or whatever, where you're breaking a huddle and Pat Mahomes is clapping and everything? You're like, oh my gosh! Like, I mean, I'm just breaking a huddle with Pat Mahomes. I'm in the NFL. I mean, it, was there ever a moment like that for you? Yeah, uh, for sure. I would say probably during back into OTAs uh, in early or well, I'll say late May, uh, that type of deal. Uh, you know, being out there with the vets. Uh, you know, I, and I guess. I was at center uh, in a 707 rep, and you know we get in the huddle. You know he was call calling the play and stuff like that, and he was, uh, you know, giving me the uh, the snap count. And I was just like, man, I'm snapping the ball to Pat. You know, uh, you know it was it was surreal, you know. But at the end of the day, now like sharing the locker room with him, sharing the locker room with guys uh, that's been in the league for a long time, that's vested in the NFL, and um, have done great things in this league over the years. You know, it's uh, you kind of see like why they're they're like that. You know, they kind of see why they've been there for so long, why they're so successful by how they approach every day, how they carry themselves. And so uh, it's been it's been great to be in the locker room with those guys. I'm I'm like a proud dad, Hubs. Like, I mean, my, this is my guy, man. I mean, I, I, you tell where I was when Jerome was going to commit. I was at Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios in Disney. They're getting ready to do fireworks and lights and the whole <laughs> And I'm like in here, like, we've got my wife's phone. I'm recording the commitment interview with Jerome. And here we are all these years later. And he is so, like, professional and 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 just you know cool calm and collected i mean see he's smiling now and that's how he's always been he always kind of smiled when he did interviews and met with the media not as much tonight he's more business-like but i mean just maturity man I, I and i mean that in the, the greatest compliment i i 
no, I root hard for you, man. I, I think you're a great kid, and, and it's good to kind of see uh, good things come to you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. You know, we go we go way back, Austin. So I really appreciate that. Hey, Jerome, I do have one more question for you, and then we'll, we'll let you get out of here. And I really appreciate your time uh, going into that first preseason game. You know, going to going into that first regular season game when the time comes. But you know, for Tennessee and your brothers, they're about to play their first game against Virginia. You spoke on it a little bit with Ollie, but how hard is it to kind of control those emotions and that excitement for that first game and just go out there and play football? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be tough, definitely, uh, just because they've been waiting so long to go out there and play, you know. You know, they had a long off season from, you know, from since the Orange Bowl till now, you know, uh, getting new additions in and, you know, getting those guys adjusted. And uh, it's, it's it's a process for sure how long a college off season is. And, uh, you know, but that's where you put – that's where the, the hours you put in, the days that you put in with those guys, the same guys in the locker room, uh, that's when now it comes to show out, you know, and uh, it shows – it goes to, you know – show the fans and show uh, everyone around the country, like, like, man, this is all the work we've been putting into, you know? And so it's for this moment right here. So, uh, you know, they're going into a long season. Um, you know, I pray and hope for, uh, you know, all those guys stay healthy. Uh, and other than that, man, just go out there and uh, play with their hair on fire and let loose. Uh, I know they will, you know, I know they're going to play really fast and they're going to be, uh, they're going to make big plays and they're going to put a lot of points on the board and uh, defense is going to be flying around, you know, creating turnovers and, you know, getting the ball back to the offense. So uh, those guys are gonna be good. Uh, I know they're gonna be really excited to go out there and play. And uh, after that, after their first snap, everything starts to calm down, and they go back to playing football. So uh, I can't wait to watch them. Well, Jerome, we appreciate it, man. Thanks so much for joining us. I know you're super busy right now with camp and preseason and all that. We're all rooting for you, and I uh, can't wait to talk to you with you again, man. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.